In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four arrow infographic options in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first option comes, you can see here I've added a different color with the icon and then you can add the uh, title and the detailed text here. And when I click, it goes to the next option with a different color combination. Then come the third and then after that the arrow uh, with the icon here and you can add the title and the detailed text likewise i have created few more uh, slides where i have changed the direction you can see here from the bottom to up and one more where you can increase the size and show something like this one two three also and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 to do this if you're using the older version of powerpoint like 2007 or 2010 then some of the features may not be available so i highly recommend you to use the latest version of powerpoint like 2019 or office 365 so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes from the rectangle i'm going to select the rectangle rounded corner draw the rectangle maybe this much size and later on we can increase or decrease the size and once this is done i'm going to shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to just align center align middle and then I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D and I'm going to give some different color and right mouse click go to format shape and I'm going to make it somewhat transparent all right and this I'm going to place it here now you are seeing the the area which is on the top the blue color that only I'm going to keep it and the rest I want to delete it now let me just zoom in all right so you can see here if you want we can just make it somewhat curved for this one and this one I can just make a somewhat increase the size of this rectangle only the bottom one all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the blue one hold the shift key select the other rectangle merge shape i'm going to subtract it so i end up getting a shape something like this right now how much i want i can reduce it i can increase it depending on my requirement i can do that one so once this is done i'm going to duplicate this okay let me just keep it here press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to add one here again ctrl d to duplicate so three uh, rectangles i have added or this kind of shape okay now let me just zoom in and then here go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to select the oval draw the and make it somewhat curve like this shape outline no outline and for the time being i'm just going to give some dark color and send this to back so it looks something like this and i'm going to duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to place it here again this also sent to back and for this also press ctrl d and i'm going to send this to back all right so it looks something like this now let's change the color of this so i'm just going to select this and i'm going to select the gradient fill by default the four colors are there so first color or the first top i'm going to select go to color more colors or any color of your choice you can give for example i'm going to give this aqua color here and this end also i'm going to give aqua color and the direction i want like this okay linear right and this one i'm going to give somewhat dark color here okay somewhat dark here let me just select see this dark color and this also i'm going to select some dark color so it looks like this let me just increase the size now i'm going to move this aside here and i'm going to add one more by clicking it here and then i'm going to give the same aqua color all right and here also i'm going to add one more and i'm going to give the same aqua color so you can see here the blue color let me just put it to the corners only all right and i can just move it something like this now here the color it doesn't look good the blue i'm just going to give a dark aqua color so let me just select the aqua color go to more colors and then i can just increase you can see here the shade here and click ok so it looks something like this and for this also i'm going to give the same color all right 
and here you can give some any dark color if you want now i'm going to select this one give the same gradient fill now it's for easy for me i'm going to select this one and i'm going to choose a, maybe a kind of a orange color here you can see here here also and here also both i'm going to choose orange and this also i'm going to choose orange here also orange and then for this i'm going to make it somewhat darker let me just select the same color then go to more colors and increase the shade here all right and here also the same thing i'm going to select the same dark color here and then comes the third one again i'm going to select the gradient now which color you want for example you want some kind of uh, maybe other color so let me just select could be this color all right and here also and this also orange and this also orange and here also the same color but i'm going to give somewhat dark shade so go to custom increase the shade click ok and here also same color so you can see here i have got the aqua i have got kind of a uh, red or the orange combination and then this is the orange color and let me just select this one here and uh, for this i'm going to select some dark color okay let me just select this more color increase the size or the shade here okay it looks more darker and for this orange also i'm going to choose maybe this one again i'm going to more colors and increase the shade here all right and for this also you can give some different color so now uh, one design is ready and i'm going to add one more at the bottom here you can see here for this go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rectangle rounded corner draw it something like this and you can see the orange point make it fully curved shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any dark color if you want all right and then rotate it i'm going to rotate left 90 degrees bring it here and send this to back so it looks something like this so one design is ready now we need to add some more shapes at the back side now let me just add one arrow here go to insert shapes and from the block arrows i'm going to choose the arrow up draw the arrow you can see here so depending on your requirement you can make it more wider or if you want you can make it more narrow also and make sure that it is align center shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice and then send this to back now i'm going to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to sorry from the rectangles i'm going to select this rectangle draw the rectangle shape outline no outline and shape fill let me just give some dark color here you can see here and let me just zoom in also so exactly you know what i'm trying to do i'm going to reduce the size all right and then i'm going to rotate it with the help of this arrow okay you can see here and exactly you need to place it here this corner all right and if you want you can just increase the size like this okay this corner here it should come here and this corner should come here and then send this to back so it looks something like this you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate and again i'm going to place exactly here otherwise what happens here is if, if you do it something not correct it will look like this right so we need to avoid that con that type of things so now you can see here now i'm going to give some more different color here i can select this color and go to more colors and increase the shade here you can see here it looks something like this and for this also i can give maybe a dark color and more and i can just increase the shading and you can see here with this uh, we have completed our basic design now what you can do is either if you want to just keep it like this you can keep it like this or you can select all press ctrl a ctrl g to group it and hold the alt and the right arrow key you can just turn a little bit like this here can you see here and if you want to increase the size you can hold the shift key and you can increase the size also like that but if you want prefer a smaller size you can keep it the smaller size 
now i'm going to add a few options and the icons here go to insert shapes i'm going to select this one which is the the circle hollow actually this one and then just click it here it's taking time yeah shape outline no outline and shape fill you can make it white you can increase the size a little bit and reduce the width and then just put it here press ctrl d to duplicate add one here ctrl d add one here and then you can go to insert if you're using the latest version you can add the icons or you can just put the like zero one i'm going to select center align make it bold increase the size and you can put it here this is one press ctrl d this is two and this is three so depending on your requirement you can add the icon or you can add the option number or the text whichever way you feel better all right so now with this i'm going to insert text box and you can just add the title here all right right aligned make it bold and if you want to increase the size go to insert shapes you can add some detailed text equals lorem within bracket one and then unwanted text i'm going to delete this one for example from here and this one reduce the size and this also right align let me just move this here and i'm going to place it here exactly all right select both of these press ctrl g to group it again alt and right arrow key you can see here i can just put it here press ctrl d i can put this for here ctrl d now i have to bring to the other side all right so for this again i can go to the home left align and then select both of these and this also i'm going to make it left align all right and then let me just arrange it properly you can see here so this is my first option second option and third option again if you want to reduce the size you can reduce the size if you want to add some icons here it's up to you so this is the design and if you want you can just do some basic animation to this